there's a lot of beautiful promises from God in his word. And what I wanted to do is show you a few of these promises and specifically these promises are in revelation and they're outlined as he who overcomes there's a promise from god so what i wanted to show you is all these different verses in the book of revelation and what the promise is to he who overcomes so first let's look at what are we overcoming right and so we're gonna go into revelation 12 7 and i'm gonna read this and we're gonna see what it is we are trying to overcome verse 7 and war broke out in heaven Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought, but they did not prevail, nor was a place found for them in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of our brethren who accused them before our God day and night has been cast down. And they overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony and they did not love their lives to the death. So we are overcoming the accuser, the serpent of old, who's called Satan and the devil. And how are we overcoming him? We're overcoming him by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So Satan, right, the accuser who accuses me and our brethren day and night, he is the one who we are overcoming coming so now let's look at these promises from god in the book of revelation written to these churches to he who overcomes amen i'm in revelation 2 7 it says he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches to him who overcomes i will give to eat from the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of god if you go back to genesis 3 you'll see this tree of life and it's being guarded by angels with fire because adam and eve they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and then now they're not allowed to eat of the knowledge of the tree of of life unless they live forever right they were cast out of the garden because they chose to disobey god and then god said hey guard the tree of life but to him who overcomes we can eat of the tree of the life which is in the midst of the paradise of god revelation 2 11 he who has an ear let him hear what the spirit says to the churches he who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death Revelation 2.17, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written which no one knows except him who receives it. When you overcome, right, you're going to get some of that hidden mana from heaven, that bread from heaven, and you're going to get a new name written on a stone. Revelation 2.26, And he who overcomes and keeps my works until the end, I will give him power over the nations. So we're even promised power over the nations when we overcome this serpent of old. Revelation 3.5, he who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. So when you overcome this world and you overcome Satan, your name is written in the book of life. And Jesus said he will confess your name before God the Father and before the angels. Revelation 3.12, he who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. 
Last one is Revelation 3.21. To him who overcomes, I will grant to sit with me on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down with my Father on his throne throne. This is how great these promises are that we're even given the promise that we can sit with Jesus in heaven on his throne. As long as we endure to the end, keep on fighting the good fight because we know that Satan, right? He was known as the accuser. He accuses us. He tries to plant lies in our mind all day long. He tries to bring us down and take us out of the will of God and try and trample on us. But We've been given the power of the Holy Spirit that lives and dwells in us. And when we overcome Satan by following the will of God and obeying and submitting to God and resisting the devil, it says he will flee. And there is these promises for us as we overcome the accuser of this world. So I encourage you to focus on the promises, focus on the blessing, because each and every day has a struggle, has a challenge, but we're called to focus on Jesus, keep our eyes fixated on God. We know and we trust that we're led by the Spirit and we can hold on to these promises as we overcome this world by the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony. There's beautiful promises for us. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Hit the like button to support. And if you want to come around for more, hit subscribe. God bless you in Jesus name.